hey guys and welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be a debt update which i am so happy about some of you guys may already know because a lot of you guys follow me on instagram but i still wanted to share it on here because there's a lot more people on here that don't follow me on instagram so i wanted to share this with you guys so we are going to start off with let's start off with freedom so you guys already know back and well back in the beginning of the month april 4th i paid off my freedom and i was so excited right but i'm even more excited because i paid off capital one Look guys, zero dollars I owe. So I will be showing a clip here of my tracker. It's all filled in and it looks beautiful. So what I decided to do was I had $720 in my savings. So I decided, let me take out the $500 that I owe towards Capital One. And the reason why I did that was because the interest, for some reason, it just kept going up. And I'm like, I'm never going to pay this off if I keep trying to pay it off. You know, a little extra here. And then the month, you know, the minimum payment hits. So what I decided to do was, I said, I'm going to take it out of my saving tracker. I mean, out of my savings envelope. Because I can always put this money here. There's no interest being taken out or anything like that in my savings envelope, right? So why not take this money and just pay off the credit card? So that's what I did. But now I have $220 in savings, but it's okay because I can always, you know, put, more, put money in there. So I am credit card debt free, guys. Credit card debt free. And I am so excited, happy, and it feels good because today is the 28th and I had to make a Capital One payment. And guess what? I got a email saying here is your monthly bill and it was at zero and it felt so so good so now you guys know that i am in student loan debt so this is i am i'm gonna tell you right now i am fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty seven cents in student loan debt and this is all my breakdown that I have done for my student loan. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six loans for student loan, right? If that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm trying to decide if I should do, um, let's do the, the, the lowest. Oh, let's do the highest so I think because I already made payments towards this loan already as you can see I made one loan January 9th for $28.78 and that's because I sold something on I believe it was Poshmark so it's at $3,150 so I think that's what I'm going to do so I am going to Try to knock out this $3,178.78. Then I'm going to target this one, which is loan number two. $2,742.12. Then it is loan number seven, which is two $2,000. $250.40, $2,167.93, $2,101.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201.22, $2,201
So this is the order that I think I'm just gonna do because if I got to knock out $4,776.76 in, in a matter of four months and a couple of days, I can knock this out. And yes, I got help from the stimulus that came in and things like that. But if I do some Uber Eats and some Postmates and some um, DoorDash, I think I can, I can do this. I definitely can do this. I'm just excited that I am credit card debt free. That interest was getting me on my last nerves. Like my last nerves. I, I don't know. I was just getting upset every time. I saw my monthly statement and it's like, okay, I got 42 more dollars on top of what I, I'm, I'm already paying. So I said, nope, I gotta get rid of that. So yeah, guys, I wanted to share that with you and let you guys know I'm credit card debt free. Now we're gonna knock out these student loans and I'm ready for it. I am so, so ready for it. So if you guys are wanting to, see and go with me through this journey please stick around if you like this type of content don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe and i'll be seeing everyone in my next video